everybody get Jeep in here. Uh, sorry for the wind guys, but we're gonna go try to go ahead and make the video. Um, before you check out this video, go ahead and go to getjeep.com, check out our website. And also, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow us here on YouTube, all the videos. And I've got a lot more coming out soon. This is a Dana 44 that I picked up off Craigslist for about 100 bucks. I've already repainted it. Yeah, I've done some work to it. I've cut off some um, really bad welded on, um, I guess you can call them shock mounts. And so today we're going to be changing the differential oil and the RTV there, or the gasket on it and painting the cap. So the only tools you're really going to need is just a wrench to get off your bolt there or whatever you want to call it. You want to go ahead and get a socket set. It's a half inch socket as well as a big hammer just to knock it in case you need to get it out. So go ahead and get your oil pan down here. So go ahead and try to get this off. Sometimes it can be pretty tough to get off. This stuff doesn't smell too great, but it definitely needs to be changed. Let's go ahead. And I'm already missing two bolts because the person I bought it from had done something, and so the bolts need to be changed. That's also why I'm changing the wheel, just because who knows what they've done to it. Give it a good tap. See, if it, it hasn't had much oil on it, which is not a very good thing. And you see the lid there is pretty dirty. We're going to go ahead and clean all that out with some brake part cleaner and get the um, gasket off as well. Go ahead and start cleaning it out. Just kind of get your hand back in there and pull all the oil out you can. It's going to be like a little pocket in there that you want to get it out of. Now that you got your RTV off, you got little spots in here, but what we're going to do is use some brake parts cleaner and go ahead and clean that thing out. Now what you want to do is go ahead and take some paper towels and just kind of get in there and try to get all the moisture out that you can. Hey guys, so next step after everything's dried off and you have your differential ready, what you want to do is go ahead and take your RTV. You want to have dry hands for this. But go ahead and just put a big old helping of it once this stuff gets out of the tube. That thing ain't working right. Let's do it the old fashioned way. You want a big old help and try to get around all the holes. Clean the uh, finger. Please, you can get it. So go ahead and drop your diff on, try to get where well, you can see all the bolt holes. And go ahead and start tying down your nuts. Hey, but we're back here. You see it's actually probably a day later now. And um, I left this thing overnight to um, basically for this um, RTV stuff to set up. And it looks like it did pretty well. And it got kind of cold last night, or not really last night, but this morning, um, things are pretty frozen. But we're gonna go ahead and put the gear oil so we can finish up and I'll show you what y'all done. So, of course, I took the cap off. And this is the oil I got. Um, so I got um, ADW90, just kind of, kind of got the cheapest thing they had, just because it wasn't that big of a deal. So once you're ready, go ahead and get your bottle open. Um, this one came nice with a pour spout, so it make it a lot easier. Um, from reading online, it should take about a quart and a half, and this is a one quart bottle. So let's go ahead and get started. And basically, you're just, you're just gonna fill up 
to that top line. So once once the oil starts pouring out there, you can actually stick your finger in there and you actually fill it right there. And then you can see it as well. So once you get that far, go ahead and put your bolt back in or your plug. Then you just want to do a few little turns just to get it snug. You probably want to do it as snug as you can get it. I like that they put a big old bolt on here, not a little dinky thing or some little screw. There you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. And check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. And we'll see y'all in another.